I bought a new soldering pencil from Japan. It's pretty good quality. It's a pretty tough little unit and I'm going to replace my electronic soldering gun. It's kind of a lightweight thing. It's a 3120, but I don't know if you can see. It's uh, The tip has been loose since the time I bought it and it wiggles up and down left and right. So I thought I'd tear into it and see what was going on inside there. So there's three screws here and then this black collar. Um, and that's all that pretty much holds it together. It's just a uh, cheap plastic casing. Move along as fast as I can. I know it's not exciting watching somebody unscrew screws. Okay, then there's this collar right here. And if I recall, this open like that and I think I'm seeing a problem already um, let me move this out of the way you can see maybe right there at the end of my finger right there there used to be something um, sticking up and my guess is it went into that hole right there to help hold this thing in position um, yeah, there's a hole on the other side, and there's one, and there's the other. So these little projections were supposed to go inside of here, and that's why the tip is now really loose. Okay, let's explore a little bit more. I've reassembled this so we can go over part by part. You can see where everything fits. Uh, so I'll remove this black ring and this holds the two blue halves together, the plastic halves. And then this part is the, uh, well, this part here is the ceramic heating element and the heat transfers out to this metal component out to the tip where you actually do the soldering. Um, what else is interesting? Okay, so you have one wire comes back here. This is nothing more than a shrink wrapped connection. There's a diode across this switch right here. When you push the switch, it shorts that diode. So when the diode's in place, this is 30 watts, and when you short it, it goes up to 120 watts. Uh, you're not supposed to do that for more than, what, 30 seconds, I think it said in the instructions. Okay, um, then this way is the, um, I don't want to say LED, the neon bulb that tells you that there's power, and then it just goes out here to the electric plug, well, that's pretty much it for our tour of this rather simple soldering gun. Uh, I'm replacing it. This still works. I'm replacing it because I've found that the soldering pencil is easier to hold steady, uh, especially with fine work than a soldering gun. So that's a, that might be an interesting bit of feedback when you go to buy your own equipment. Uh, I don't recommend you taking apart uh, high voltage equipment. There's danger of fire, shock, electrocution, that kind of thing. Okay, and having said that, I hope you found it useful and interesting in your home DIY soldering projects.